Good morning guys, it's Lara. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. We're doing today again a what I eat in a day video. I know you guys enjoy these and I love filming these as well. So today it's Sunday and it is supposed to be extremely hot. We went to bed later than usual yesterday and I got up at half past eight, which is for me very late and it was already super warm so I put on a bikini and I refused to wear anything more than that today and we were planning on having a tofu scramble but Jack got up earlier and he was already hungry because he was working in the yard so he just had his regular smoothie so he's not gonna be that hungry for at least an hour maybe hour and a half so I decided I'll uh, have also something small uh, before we are going to have our scramble so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna have here we have the first part of my breakfast. So I have here this wonderful pink smoothie and a big glass of water. My multi and vitamin D3. This is the multi, by the way. And here we have the smoothie ingredients. So I have here almond milk, soy mango yogurt and uh, frozen raspberries. So I added about one and a half cups of almond milk into the blender. Then I added one cup of frozen raspberries and four tablespoons of the mango yogurt and I added also about half a cup of crushed ice because it's extremely hot today and I wanted my smoothie to be as cold as possible. A little update on our kitchen windowsill plants. So the left salad here keeps growing and that's wonderful but the right one died <laughs> so I will use this planter for something else. I'm sprouting actually here another avocado so I will plant the avocado there because as you can see it's pretty tall and it's getting leaves so it's gonna be time soon. The cilantro started growing nicely that's good. Oh yeah we killed our wheatgrass somehow <laughs> so I'm sprouting a new batch and the Avocado tree is ginormous. I already had to clip the second branch and there is a new branch growing and there is another one which is good because I want it to be a little bit wider. And I'm trying to sprout here lemon seeds. So we bought new salads and we planted them into this big terracotta planter. Originally the salad was also on the outer windowsill but it was apparently way too hot and it was just looking sad so I put it down here and it's doing way better. One of them already died as well so <clears throat> apparently my green thumb is really limited. That's the scallions, they are still fine. And here we have the only celery that survived. The other celery has died as well. It's just too hot here. Oh, this is, by the way, bell peppers. I planted them from seeds, so I will have to uh, take a few out of this planter because it's too dense and plant them into a new one. And let's see if that's going to grow. We have here mint. That's doing pretty well because I already chopped it um, pretty much back and it has grown so much again. And other than that, I don't think there's anything new. Now I put on this super cute summer outfit that I actually just finished making yesterday. There will be a tutorial on my DIY channel. And I am about to go downstairs and then in the yard because I want to film a few clips of the finished product for my tutorial and I need to make a few photos. This is an outfit I wanted to make myself for such a long time and I had this fabric for so long in one of my boxes. I bought this fabric secondhand. There is a store not far from Vienna where you can buy secondhand fabrics and sewing supplies. This is where I got it. It was super cheap but it's really beautiful and this is an outfit that I always wanted to have. I always wanted to have a simple white milkmaid blouse and a simple no zipper white peasant skirt because these are such wonderful pieces for the summer and you can combine them with so many other things. Now I'm preparing our scramble. So I have here one rather larger red onion, one tomato, a couple of brown mushrooms and a few slices of smoked tofu and then I have here a regular tofu so I'm gonna cut about a little bit less than half of this block and I'm gonna crunch it with my fingers and throw it into the pan.
if you are someone who misses the eggy taste, you can always use a bit of black salt in it. I don't really need it. So we use only turmeric, smoked paprika, usually also a little bit of black pepper and herbal salt and that's fine for us. But the black salt would definitely give it the typical sulfuric uh, scent or like rather smell and taste. And here we have these crumble. I sprinkled chopped scallions from our yard on the top. Oh, it smells delicious. And we're going to eat the scramble with this bread. That's bread from yesterday. So I sliced it and put it shortly in the toaster oven because it needed a little freshening up. And normally we would eat outside, but it's already so freaking hot that we decided to eat inside. And another thing, it is actually quite late. It is almost noon. So I suspect this is gonna be kind of a brunch for us because I don't think we are going to have a regular lunch today. Probably just a snack in the afternoon and then dinner. Because it's just too warm. It's too warm for hair, it's too warm for food, it's too warm for clothes, it's too warm for anything, right? And there's my main. <laughs> hey. Oh yeah, and one other thing. I just had my braces adjusted two days ago. So obviously munching on bread is a little bit painful. So I think I'm just gonna leave this one for Jack and have any pieces that are thin enough where it's not so much of the crust. It hurts so much right now because they adjusted the bottom row. Because I think we're almost done with the upper row. And they are shifting like the, the parts that are further in the back. And these are the biggest teeth, so whenever they shift them, it just hurts so much for at least two or three days. But usually after that, uh, after that, it's fine. A little creative afternoon project. So behind me on the ground, I have these burgundy velvet curtains, and today I will do the edging. They were a little bit too long. We used to have these in our old flat. And 12 years ago, when we moved into this home, we had different curtains, and these are the curtains we had recently for quite a few years in this beautiful petrol blue, uh, but they kind of don't go with the theme in our bedroom anymore, so that's why I have decided to use these again. We were in Venice a few years ago with Jack and we brought home a really pretty tapestry that we have on one of the walls in our bedroom and there's a lot of red and gold and beige and we painted our bedroom in kind of a sandy yellowish pale beige and our bed sheets are right now usually just beige, very neutral. And I really wanted to have curtains that would go with the entire theme. So I thought something in burgundy or like crimson red, something like that would be really pretty. So I went through the boxes with fabrics that I kind of hamstered over the years and I found these old curtains and I was like, that's perfect. That's actually exactly what I was looking for. So I made sure that they were the same length like the petrol blue curtains and uh, I just folded the edge inwards and up and I pinned it in place and I'm just gonna sew through with a straight stitch. And what makes me particularly happy about this project is not only we are going to have now matching curtains but I was also able to use something I already have so I didn't have to buy new fabric. Textile industry is very polluting for the planet, especially the fast fashion industry so I'm trying not to buy new fabrics if I can help it. These curtains are definitely not gonna land in the landfill. I am gonna keep these because the material is beautiful. It's such a wonderful velvet, soft and just so nice. I think I'm gonna dye these dark green and then I'm gonna make myself a super cute outfit out of them. And when I will be doing that, of course, I'm gonna film it for my DIY channel. But since that's gonna be more of a fall outfit, I'm gonna film that probably in September or beginning of October. But most importantly, there we have my little hecky bear. He was too hot. He was in the morning in the yard and did his morning patrol but at some point it got too hot so he came back inside and he curled up in his basket and he's just sleeping. Time for a little snack. I have here this bowl full of watermelon. This is one of my favorite fruits. I don't eat that much fruit actually. I actually eat only bananas and berries, occasionally apples, but watermelon, this is something I cannot imagine summer without. All right, so the curtains are done 
and here we have the tapestry I spoke of and that just looks so much better than the petrol blue ones. Oh, and in case you're wondering, we do not have a TV here on the wall. This is a fireplace, like an electric fireplace. Two of my favorite main cuddling. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so precious. Time for another snack. So I have here a bowl of ice cream. So the brown ice cream is this one. It's nougat ice cream. It's oat paste. Absolutely delicious. So lovely. The pale beige one is this one. That's peanut ice cream. Not so long ago I thought that peanut ice cream will always be my favorite and then I tried the nougat ice cream and now I can't decide which one I like better. And the pale pink one is this uh, strawberry ice cream. This one is coconut based. I would like the strawberry flavor to be a little bit stronger. I taste almost equally much the coconut and the strawberry, which is not bad. It's really good. But I don't think this is going to be my favorite. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it again, but it's really good. I have been drinking the whole day so much water. It's so important when it's so hot to stay hydrated. And now I'm gonna finish the rest of this almond drink. Um, I think there is a little bit less than the half of this uh, in the carton. And I'm gonna drink it out of the carton, like a lady. Cheers. Oh my goodness, can we take a second and have a look at this precious little guy? I had to open the door and that woke him and he was looking for mama. It's okay, Elke Bear. I'm back, I'm back. I guess someone's hungry. There you go, Hickey Bear. Is it enjoyable? Um, I guess it is. Enjoy your meal, Mr. Hercules. I gave him fresh water in the morning, but I'm gonna change this because it's been so hot and I think it's gonna be so much nicer for him. It is almost half past seven. I showered, I washed my hair, I fed Hercules and also pre I prepared this little package that I'm gonna send tomorrow. This is something very exciting for me. There is a platform in Europe similar to Depop where you can sell your stuff secondhand or you can buy stuff secondhand. It's linked down below. I opened there recently also my own shop where I'm selling stuff that I don't want anymore or that doesn't fit me anymore. And uh, this has been my first sale. Uh, someone bought two soft bras, so I'm so excited about that. So thank you so much. I'm going to send the package tomorrow. And uh, now I will go outside because I have to prepare my bullet journal for the new month. Because today is the last day of June and I need a new tracker. Here we have my bullet journal. This is what it looks like. That's the current one. It says anything is possible on the front and I printed out my tracker that goes over an entire page. It's for the first half of the month and for the second half. And then I have here the, the key and a few affirmations. So now I'm gonna cut it out and I have here my white glue and I'm gonna glue it into the journal. All right, my bullet journal is ready for the new month. I have here the tracker for July and the affirmations and the legend and uh, now I hope that Jack is gonna be here soon because I'm actually pretty hungry and we're going to have dinner. Here is our dinner and tonight we are having leftovers so I have here three pieces of Mediterranean bean pizza. I recently filmed a recipe for this one it's so delicious you guys have to try this one you're gonna love it. So I will link the recipe here in the right corner and also down below. And after this pizza, we're gonna have a cake that is very similar to the apple cake that I filmed recipe for also recently. But instead of apples, I put in apricots and berries and this is what it looks like. But other than that, it's exactly the same recipe and it's just so good. So this is gonna be our dinner. And I don't know if this is gonna be enough. I don't feel that hungry, but we'll see. Before I say goodbye, I wanted to show you how much the wheatgrass has grown since in the morning. Can you see that? There are already little green points. As always, I listed all macros down below for the individual meals and also for the entire day. And that is it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and see you soon. Bye!